Squigs! Everyone loves them and they're super useful to orcs and goblins. In fact, the only thing more useful is knowing how to paint them. Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Ricky and this is my Realm of Colour. Welcome to part 3 of painting Grimcrack's Loon Court, where I'm going to show you how I paint the squigs. If you haven't already, feel free to watch parts 1 and 2 to see how I painted the goblins. As Grib the Wonky Lance, great name, has the biggest squig, it's a perfect canvas to show you how I paint them. I've got the colours for the skin ready on my wet palette. As you can see, I've finished the rest of the mini, and minus the base, which will be in part 4. Starting with corn red, I'm going to cover all the skin areas. This takes a couple of coats to make a solid base coat. You can apply this fairly quickly, just be very careful you don't get the areas you've already painted. If you do, you can quickly wipe it off with a damp brush before it dries. When applying the second coat, I took a bit more time to leave the deepest recesses darker. This helps create shadows using only one colour. Once that has dried, I made a 50-50 mix of corn red and Stegadon scale green. This will be our deepest shade to apply it only to where the shadows will be the strongest. When that shading is fully dried, I start highlighting the first highlight with Wazdaka red. This is a colder red, so it's perfect for cave dwelling beasts such as the squigs. I will cover a large portion of the skin with this colour, but I start looking at where the highlights will be and of course leave the shading and some of the corn red showing. Next up was deciding to highlight with orange or pink. And the paints gave me the answer. Squig orange it is. This will be a thick highlight and dot in all the lumps. I'm guessing they're warts. I'll do two more highlights, first by adding some Yuri Yellow to Squig Orange, then to that same mix I add some Screaming Skull. This does make the highlights super bright and quite harsh, so to soften it all down and help blend the colours together, I'll be applying a glaze of Corn Red afterwards. Before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to paint the face and the lips. I choose to use a pink tone to draw your attention to the face. As faces are one of the main focal points of a model, it helps to find ways to make them stand out, especially when it comes to creatures such as squigs, where it's predominantly one colour. So, for the pink lips and the face, I mixed some Wazdaka Red with a small amount of Screaming Skull. Again, the highlights are concentrated on the upper areas, and on the lips, I did vertical lines to add texture. This could represent dry, chapped lips. I did a couple more highlights. Each one, I simply added a bit more Screaming Skull, with each highlight getting a bit smaller and finer. So I was going to paint the feet a purple tone to add some interest to the model but afterwards I realised it was too similar in colour to the base so I went back and painted them the same colour as the main body of the squig. I was going to cut this part out of the video but I wanted to show it's perfectly fine to experiment with your paint job and repaint any areas you're not happy with. So after the mess around with the feet I went on to glazing the whole model, like I said, with watered down corn red. Thank you. 
And once the glaze had dried, I grabbed some purple paint and just watered it down a bit, ran it around the mouth just to add a bit more interest to it and draw your attention to it even more. When it came to the eyes, I simply dotted them with a bit of bright green and added a little bit of yellow to add a bit of glow to them. The horn, teeth and claws have all been base coated with Rhinox Hide, being as careful as you can to not get any on the skin. There are two ways you can highlight the horns, having the more natural way, being darkest at the point, or a more artistic way, I guess, having the point being the lightest. For this mini, I'm going for the lightest at the point. For a first highlight, I'm using Scrag Brown, a layer this on covering about 75% of the area. For the horn, I apply highlights and lines going up. These lines, you want them all to be finished towards the darkest areas. Further highlights will be added using Samiza Desert, then Screaming Skull. Each highlight being further up towards the points of the teeth, the horn and the claws. And that's it, the squig is finished. I really like the way pink in the face helps to stand out. It just adds some extra character for me. And with that, it's the end of the video. Part four coming out next week will be all about painting the bases. So if you'd like to know how I do them, don't forget to subscribe. And why not hit that like button while you're at it? It really helps for others to find my video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Goodbye everyone.